Staff Sergeant uh, Robert Bales has been held in pretrial detention over the weekend here at Fort Leavenworth. His, uh, his attorneys, um, or two civilian attorneys from Seattle and another military attorney, are finally set to meet with him this morning uh, to discuss the, sort of the, the case and possible defense. Uh, no charges have been filed yet. <coughs> the shooting occurred on uh, March 11th, uh, allegedly, and um, prosecutors have yet to file charges, but that, those are expected within the week. But uh, this weekend, uh, my colleagues and I worked over the weekend to sort of, you know, uh, ha report on his background. And a, a picture emerged of someone um, who never gave any signs of this for a long time. It obviously was shocking to friends and family uh, and those who knew them. But uh, there also were some uh, glimpses of uh, a, a shady or, or frustration in dark past. Yeah, Jack, he's, he, his attorney has come to visit him, is that correct? What, what, what has his attorney said publicly at this point? Well, his attorney has, has made clear that uh, this is someone who's served four, um, four times overseas, three times in Iraq and, and this last time in Afghanistan. He uh, had suffered a severe head injury, a severe foot injury, uh, seen many of his friends die, uh, you know, carried dead Iraqis. So, uh, you know, the, def the defense attorney is essentially, you know, sounds like he's suggesting there may be an argument here uh, that there was either PTSD involved or uh, just too many um, sort of uh, ships, shipped, uh, times shipped overseas. So um, it's unclear what his defense will be thus far, but uh, he clearly, he also is saying that there was nothing in his past that suggested uh, racism or anger or anything like that. And, and a broader issue uh, is, will this influence the already uh, large and multifaceted debate in America about America's role there and could it be another factor that urges, you know, at least some people say we ought to be getting out faster than even the president's timetable. Yes, it's certainly roiling um, tensions there in the Middle East. I know Afghanis, uh, you know, President Hamid Karzai has been very critical um, of, of the U.S.'s uh, handling of the case and um, I think people are eager to see charges filed soon. And I know there's also been uh, a lot of discussion here in the U.S. about uh, how many times, uh, you know, multiple deployments, things like that, and whether or not there needs to be better screening for things like PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder.